Hey, welcome to my kitchen for our final summer tasty Tuesday. We have been uh, sharing a bunch of great summer recipes over the past few months, but we are about to embark on our winter long-term travel. And I can't do a Tasty Tuesday every week when we're traveling um, on the road, but I'll do one uh, occasionally. But we've uh, shared together some great recipes this summer from my home here in Washington State. I hope you've enjoyed that. And stay tuned for when I can do another one. But today, in honor of one of the best summers I can remember in the Pacific Northwest, weather-wise, and that has created an abundance of wonderful produce. And once again, we're talking about zucchini. I found this recipe, I've been working on a project, um, cleaning out my photo albums, and tucked inside, I found this recipe for glazed lemon zucchini bread. It's from the 1990s. I have no idea where it came from and I have never made it, but it sounds really good. We're going to some friends for dinner tonight and I'm bringing a dessert. So let's try glazed lemon zucchini bread and see how it turns out. So from my kitchen, here we go. I have four cups of cake flour. To that, I am adding one teaspoon of salt. And let's see, baking powder, uh, one and a half tablespoons. Baking powder. And we're gonna stir that up. And then we're gonna set that aside. All right, we got that all combined. All right, we're not gonna use that for a couple of minutes. In a large bowl, let's break four eggs. And now we're gonna beat our four eggs. To our beaten four eggs, we're adding, let me remind myself, four tablespoons of fresh lemon juice, one cup of buttermilk, the zest of one whole lemon, and beat that together. Next, we are adding one cup of vegetable oil, And this is a lot of sugar. Three cups of granulated sugar. All right, we're gonna get that all beat together. Now I have two cups of shredded zucchini. The zucchini is from my niece's garden. She's been supplying me with zucchini all summer. So I'm going to put that into our liquid and fold that in carefully. Mmm, that lemon smells so good. And now we're gonna add the dry ingredients that we mixed up earlier. I'm just gonna add a little bit at a time and work it in. I maybe should have had a bigger bowl. I think we'll get it in there though. Okay, our batter is ready. And now I'm gonna prep two loaf pans. You could uh, do this even in a cake pan, but I, I mean like a rectangle cake pan, but I am using two eight by four inch loaf pans. I might have a little bit too much batter for those. And you can cut this recipe in half too. 
but let me prep our um, loaf pans. So my two loaf pans I have greased and I have my oven at 350 degrees. This is going to bake uh, at least 45 minutes and maybe more. Try not to make a mess. But I am going to test it um, multiple times. My oven gets really hot, so I don't want it to burn. But I also want to make sure that it's not uncooked in the middle. So there is our beautiful lemon zucchini bread into the oven for at least 45 minutes and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Hi everyone, welcome back. And look how beautiful that zucchini lemon loaf turned out. It was in the oven for about 50 minutes and possibly because I was cooking two of them, it took a little bit longer, but it smells really good. I cut the end off because I had to test it. So let's see. Mmm, you know what? Mmm. Very lemony, but not too sweet. So that's really nice. And really dense, kind of spongy and dense. Really good. Okay, it's a good one. Let's make the glaze. I have one cup of powdered sugar. Some people call it confectioner's sugar. This is one tablespoon of milk. And we need, what was it? Was it two tablespoons? Two tablespoons of lemon juice. I'm gonna just eyeball it a little bit. Come back and add some more if I need to because we don't want this too runny. So I'm only glazing one of the two loaves I made. So if you were glazing two, you would wanna double this. I had one cup of powdered sugar, one tablespoon, of milk and two tablespoons of lemon. All right, let's do it. I'm going to try to actually run it down the sides a little bit, but you can of course put it on with a knife Doesn't that look yummy? And all the lemons smell absolutely perfect for summertime. A great use of zucchini. And there we have it. A new recipe that I've never tried before. Zucchini lemon bread was not difficult at all. I hope you'll try this recipe. And thanks for joining me in my kitchen this summer. We'll see you on the road.